Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over Mad Lab Tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the first part of a tutorial series on MATLAB basics. So the first thing that you need to know when you are new to MATLAB is how to type in a command window. So this is the command window of MATLAB. You need to start typing from here. I will do a simple operation, a mathematical operation. 1 plus 1 and press enter. So as you can see here, the answer of this operation is shown here. It is 2. I can also do trigonometric operations here, like sine of 3.1412. This is pi. So the answer that you should get is 0. See, this is very close to 0, 3 point, because as this value is not exactly pi, the value shown here is not exactly 0. Next, let us see how to interrupt ongoing calculations. So why do you need to interrupt calculations? Sometimes what happens is, you are running a command or a code and suddenly your MATLAB hangs up. You are able to do nothing. So in this case, how to come out of that situation? So for that, you need to press Ctrl C. I'll just give you an example of how to do it. I'll just write this statement for i is equal to 1, 1, infinity. So those who have no idea about coding or programming, I'll just explain you what this statement means. So what this statement means is that this particular line will be executed infinite number of times. So what I have done by writing this statement is I have created a virtual condition where MATLAB gets into a loop from which it will never come out. So it is it won't be able to take any more commands. So it is similar to a condition where MATLAB is hung up or is not able to work. So I just press enter so as you can see that these these two symbols are not appearing here which means that whatever you enter there it won't be executed so how to come out of this for this you need to press control and c so as you can see that matlab has come out of that condition and it is in a condition to take more commands or new commands next let us move on to arithmetic operations. MATLAB can do all kinds of arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It can find the square root of a number as well as find the exponent. So I will enter an equation here which contains all the operations. So I just put a random equation here and solved it and it gave me this answer and if you check this equation on your calculator you will definitely get this answer. Algebraic operations. MATLAB can do algebraic operations like factoring a polynomial or solving algebraic equations but for that you need to ensure that you have the symbolic math toolbox installed on your system. So before performing any algebraic operations, you need to mention this statement. Now what this statement does is, it converts these characters x and y to symbols so that whenever you use these characters in your algebraic equations, they are understood by the compiler as the algebraic symbols. So now I will enter an equation consisting of these symbols. So 
So now what you have got is the multiplication of x minus y and x minus y square which is equal to x minus y cube. So if you want to expand this equation you just need to type this command So as you can see, you have got the expansion of x minus y, the whole cube here. Now if you want to factorize this equation that you got in the answer, you have to enter this command. So these are the factors of the above equation x minus y three times. Finally, if you want to simplify any algebraic equation which you are finding tedious to solve by hand, you have to put it in MATLAB using this command. So this is your answer. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we will learn how to manage variables in MATLAB. Till then, goodbye and take care.